We turned around. I'm not sure what town we're in, but there's a hotel up here that has graffiti or art all over it. So we want to go back there and check it out. You can see the San Francisco peak in the distance. That's where we came from is Flagstaff. This is it right here. It says American Rent Due. It's kind of crappy though. You gotta pull it here. Pretty cool. I think it's just an abandoned motel that's been painted. This is called the Painted Desert Project. Artwork by, and here are the artists. Very colorful and neat. That's awesome. All the artwork's done pretty nicely. Seems like they leave the doors open. And people probably use it. That's kind of messy. One door's closed. Maybe it's occupied. Yeah, the inside not so nice. I've actually been by this spot several times, but never stopped here. Glad we got a chance to stop. That's not so nice. We got some TVs and an old tire. But again, you know, it is an abandoned motel. Wow. What'd you think? It's pretty cool. I know, isn't it? it kind of reminds me of Bombay Beach. Like a new age Bombay Beach. Really? Mm -hmm. This is kind of weird. You want to go upstairs? Sure. If we can make it through the tumbleweeds, that's too funny. Look at all the tumbleweeds that have made its way here. I'm gonna be careful. This must be newly abandoned because the room that I stuck my head in smells like fresh paint. It does kind of, and then look at the roof. The yeah, roof doesn't look bad. Oh yeah, this I don't know about. Yeah, this is all fresh graffiti. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like I said, the inside is not so nice. But it does look like people come here and party. Didn't want to go all the way in. The floor doesn't seem that secure. Maybe on the bottom floor it'll be fine. Floor's a little squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky floor. There's glass all over. Huh. Oh, there's even a mattress in there. All right, you're on the head back down. Oof. That's pretty cool. I definitely say this is the most colorful abandoned place I've ever been to. Drones. Wow, I was gonna say if this is a painting that is extremely detailed and good, but I think it's just a picture up there. And they painted around it. This is pretty cool. Oh, that's paint. No, I don't know if that's painted or not. I don't think it is. No, it's not. It's a print. This actually reminds me of Slab City. So they had painted water towers. 
Yeah. But that's not painted, that's print. Still pretty cool though. John's grabbing a few pictures for Instagram. Oh, look at that eagle. Is when it was done. Okay, the wind is picking up. I can also feel it when I'm driving too. These gusts of wind, I think they're about 40 or 50 today. All right, we're getting back on the road. That was definitely a neat place to stop by. It does seem like people do stay here at the night. If you had the choice, would you stay just for the adventure or the experience? I think I would, just one night. Okay, let's go. We're about 91 miles away from Page. We will not be going all the way back to Page. I love all the colors here in the desert. Reminds me of the Painted Desert, which is not too far from here. We're at the 64 junction. If you go back that way to the left, at the third exit on the roundabout, that'll go back to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. And that's about 29 miles. So we're actually not far from the house. We came this way because you actually have to have uh, the National Park Pass to get through that. It, it does go through Exit Indian Reservation. North. It was closed for a while. For 81 miles. Yeah, it was closed for a while, but it reopened, I heard. But I had to go through Flagstaff anyways to pick up my plate. So, we took this way. Which is about 30 miles difference. Look out for the kitty! Did you say kitties? Yeah, a cat just ran across the highway. I did not even see it. It was an orange one, so it kind of blended in. Oh, okay. He was trying to use up one of his nine lines. <laughs> well, he didn't use it, luckily. Nope. Playing a dangerous game of Frogger. <laughs> Oh, I remember that game, Frogger. We're about 65 miles till we hit Page. And also the north rim of the Grand Canyon is up ahead. But we are turning here towards Tuba City. This is 160. Oh, so it is 89A as well. This is 89 and 89A because they run along each other. Ugh. So, we are 11 miles from Tuba City, and Kenyatta is 82 miles. Regional alert, ice may be present on roadways, not this time of year. I remember this road. <laughs> came out. Ugh. Yeah, the winds can be pretty severe on this road. But luckily, now that we've turned, I think it's rear winds. <laughs> rear winds. I just do not like the crosswinds. Hamblin Wash. Oh, there's an airport that way. Doesn't look like much of an airport though. Must be a private one. Wow, well, look at all that over there. And look. That is so pretty. It is beautiful here. I love the contrast of the different colors on the hillside. Right? That's nice. Coming into Tuba City, Arizona. I don't think we're stopping here, so we might be traveling about four, or four hours or 
little over four hours today if we go to the next destination which is 82 miles away I think it's Cayenta is where we're going to but there is a bunch of nothingness out here it's beautiful just open land rolling hills Marker 332. Red Lake is 12 miles away. Ayanta is 61. Four Corners is 139. I still haven't been to Four Corners yet, but I've had friends that have been there. I think it's $10 to get in, and it's not much of anything. But you can be in four states at one time. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, look at those two pillars. That's pretty cool. We made a pit stop for about an hour just to relax. And we made a pit stop for about an hour just to relax. Wow, look at that view up there. That's beautiful. It's very pretty through here. It's a nice time of the day day is almost gone. We're not that much further to our destination. I think about 15 miles. So we should be there soon. You want to stop on the right to take a couple pictures? Copy that. Roger, it's really beautiful through here. Wow, look, another abandoned hotel. What? Uh oh. Fireplace? That's pretty cool. Enjoy your stay. So this is the Anasazi Motel or Hotel. But it's another abandoned hotel. It's pretty cool. We're just going to take a quick look around. So I made reservations for us here, but I think they're closed. Aw, oh, that was sweet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry it didn't work out They for said us. that it had a really good sunset view. Holy crap, the view is amazing here. I'm surprised this place is closed down. There's oh, another one of those picture kind of print things. Huh. Wow, I'm going to walk down here real quick. I will. So it seems like this is an old trailer court as well. They are definitely falling down. Maybe it was a motel slash trailer court. And the view you get, it's right on the edge too. It's kind of creepy, but cool. Oh wow. I bet this was awesome when it was open. Oh my god. I know, isn't that cool? Look at this y'all. What the water has carved down and it goes all the way down over there. Such a beautiful view. Sun's kind of in the way. It's hard to see. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm surprised this closed down with a view like this. This is a cool stone hut with a blue door that's faded. Oh, wow. This is right on the cliff side. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Huh. Oh, neato. Look at that. I would love to own this piece of property. That view. Oh, you can see. Well, I'm not sure if y'all can see, but there's the river down there. It's not a big one. It looks more like a stream right now. It's pretty dried up. Wow. The view is amazing. Yes, this will be my bedroom right here. Yep, you can see the river again that bends that way. Bunch of eyeballs staring at me. Eyeballs everywhere! Seems to be a theme with these abandoned places. Ooh, that seems squishy. 
But I think it's just, oh, foaming. That's under the floor. Please respect the process. This is that, um, where did it go? Oh, oh. scheduled mural. So this is the, the same desert artist. desert project, yeah. Yeah, the same thing. The painted desert project. That's pretty cool. Ugh. Creaky, creaky floor. Yeah, the views are definitely amazing here. Wow. Persistence in art. I didn't even realize there was a downstairs, so we're gonna walk down the creepy stairs. Actually, they don't feel too bad. Whoops, and I'm stuck. Oh, there's a fireplace. Well, fake fireplace, not sure. Well, maybe there's a wood stove there. But hi. Oh, this is pretty cool. Got a couple rooms over here. That is an awesome table. Maybe we could take it back out to the property. Yeah, we might need like about 50 people to lift that thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, the views here are wonderful. Still awesome views. I still can't believe this place is closed down. I know, it's just, if it was fixed up, this place would be amazing. Only in dreams. I think there's a water princess uh, yeah. of some sort. It's like they got levels here. Maybe they planted things here. Crazy. Yeah, this would be a beautiful piece of property to own. Oh, look at those. And then natural stairs. <sighs> so it looks like that same project is going to come here and paint all this. Which would be better than what's up here now. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of time, aren't we all? Doesn't last forever. My awesome view. I wonder if we can plug in. What? I wonder if oh, there's yeah. still power. <laughs> I can always put my key in it and see if it works. <laughs> Some broke up concrete stairs. Oh, it was a little squirrel or something that went that way. Yeah. I can kind of get why the other place was abandoned. It was kind of far out of Flagstaff, but this one here is only like 10 miles from town and the views are outstanding. Wow, look at that. That thing is demolished. The wind is tearing things apart and they're banging around. It's kind of creepy sounding. I'm glad we stopped. John, don't forget there's another mural over here. I'm gonna walk over here. I think this was the motel part. Yep, definitely the motel part. Wow, these things look like they were from the 70s. The paneling and everything. Huh. Oh yeah. This reminds me of my parents' house. <laughs> Or some motels that we stayed in when we used to travel. Oh my god, look at the green tub. That's too funny. These rooms actually don't look as bad. You can tell people are staying and partying. But they don't look as bad as the other place did. Still broke out windows. Huh. Look at that. That has a <laughs> hole in the wall. Oh, kind of overgrown. Let's go around it. Pretty much the same as the other rooms. Here's the other print. 
This one says believe. Pretty cool. Here's some information about believe. If you want to pause and read, not sure if you will be able to see it. Oh wow, there's more. Oh, it looks like there was fire down at that end. That's unfortunate. Yep, definitely burnt. I'm not gonna step in there. Doesn't look safe at all. It is right by the highway, but the view on this side is pretty nice as well. Well, that's dangerous if you were here at night. <clears throat> Step across. Wow. Oh, yeah, no floors. John's walking on down. Yeah, none of the rooms have floors. Huh. And there's skylights, that's pretty cool. This part doesn't look as old. Mm -mm. Look, these look like RV sites. Yeah, they got plugs right in. Yeah, like the 30 amp service. Yeah, oh no, they got 30 and 50 amp service. Wow, ooh, look at that. This would be an awesome view. There's another one down there, and another one right here. What is it? Price sheets. Oh. I was just seeing if there was a date or something on it. Huh. A lot of broken glass. Oh, these ones actually have floors. Well, that sounded creaky. <laughs> right. Be careful. Yeah, these ones actually still have the floors. But the roof? Wait. That's weird. What? I wonder if they're remodeling. Oh, no, maybe this is from this wall here. All the insulation and stuff. I was like, where'd that insulation come from? It just looks like people have been put this wall here. Yeah, oh, right. Wow. Some of the rooms still have carpet in it. Wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this one is completely carpeted right here. Can you not get out that way? No, it's oh. blocked off. Oh, it's blocked off, okay. Well, we're gonna turn it around. The door's open, but it's There's blocked off. Down there, oh, a fence. Creepy hole in the floor. All right, like I said, we're only about 10 miles from the next city, so we will see when we get there. All right, back on the road we go. Ready? Ready. 